Okay, what's going on traders? So today we are back with another video and today we'll be talking about uh, or rather we'll carry on talking about how you can trade Forex like a casino for consistent profits. So if you have not watched our previous video which is part one, please do watch it although uh, we'll kind of give you a recap about uh, what we shared previously. Okay, uh, we feel that's very important for you to uh, understand the right mindset, right? To have the right mindset when it comes to trading and that's uh, what this lesson is designed to do. So let, let's just start by talking about a brief recap about what we shared previously. Okay, uh, if you have not watched our previous video, please go do it right, right after this or probably before you watch this video, please go watch that again. Okay, but basically in our previous video, we say that uh, Casino always win because they have rigged the game with rules, okay? For example, you know, in roulette, um, they, they have rules, right? Rules regarding your bet size, you know, rules regarding what you can bet on, the structure of the game, correct? Like uh, Baccarat, like Blackjack, they have all rules, okay? They have the casino house rules there. Okay, so the way to win in Forex is for you to have set the similar rules, right? Of course, not exactly like uh, you... you it, not exactly like blackjack, but rules as in a, a trading system that places the odds in your favor. Okay, so what a trading strategy is, is actually just a set of rules uh, about how do you engage the market. Just like how a casino has a set of rules uh, that the players must comply with when they wish to bet, you know, they, they wish to wager a bet. Okay, so... We also said previously that in a game of roulette, a uh, casino has just a small edge of 5.4%. Okay, what this means is that uh, for every dollar that is wagered on the table, the casino can expect to earn uh, 5.4 cents. Okay, then that is a very marginal edge, but that is enough to be very, very profitable. Okay, so what we shared was also that is you don't need to have the best edge uh, when it comes to trading. You can just have a marginal edge. But if you are consistent in executing it and you're able to manage your risk and just, you know, uh, grind it out, meaning that just uh, take the trades day in and day out, then um, you are fine. You'll come out just like a casino. Okay, so, so there's no need to have, you know, like a 90% hit rate. There's no need to uh, be making like 50% return every single month, okay? You just need a small edge. So moving along, in today's lesson, we want to talk more about uh, how do you trade Forex with statistical edge? Okay, what gives us a trading edge as well as how you can be confident that your trading system or maybe a signal provider that you follow has a statistical edge, okay? As we always say, uh, you don't have to use our trading system, right? The trading system that we teach you, you don't have to use our trading signals, right? But uh, all these lessons that we share, they apply to, you know, other people that you learn from, right? Other gurus, other trading system, or even your own trading system that you design, okay? These principles are timeless, meaning that it doesn't just apply to uh, what we are doing, okay? It is, it's something that's generic that you can actually start applying, uh, right away. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the first point, which is how do you treat Forex with a statistical edge? Okay, so any trading strategy with a statistical edge has minimally three things, okay? Number one, it has a predefined stop loss to limit your downside, okay? All trading strategies need to have a stop loss. Why? Because it's impossible to get it right 100% of the time, okay? So if you don't have a stop loss, one trade is going to blow your account, okay? Imagine a trade that trends against you has the potential to wipe out your account. So always have a stop loss. Always put it in the moment you enter your order. Don't even think about, uh, you know, putting your stop loss later, okay? Whenever you execute a trade, put in the stop loss immediately, okay? It's fine if you do not put in a take profit levels, that, that's okay, but always put in a stop loss, okay? But more than having a stop loss, it's important that you have an appropriate position size, okay? Because what happens is a lot of times people put a stop loss, but they overtrade, right? They overtrade in the sense that uh, they are risking 20% of their account. And that's a sure, uh, you know, sure fire method to blow your account. So what's the appropriate uh, position size? Uh, we didn't actually write it here. So we think that uh, risking between 1% to 3% uh, is, is kind of good enough. 
meaning if uh, you have a $1,000 account, which is a small account, then uh, 3% of uh, $1,000 would be $30. That means each trade you should be risking no more than $30. It's just simple maths, okay? If you need our position size calculator or you need to learn how to do adaptive position sizing, which uh, we talk about, please check out our other videos, okay? We, we recorded this all for you. Just uh, spend some time, watch our videos, it's free. Okay, all these questions that uh, you are probably having right now, uh, it has already been answered in uh, your in, in our, our videos. So please take some effort to, uh, to, to, to watch them, to study them, okay? Because if you want to be a profitable trader, then it's mandatory that you put in effort, okay? There's no such thing as uh, you become successful overnight. You have to put in the effort, okay? So the last pointer that we have about trading strategy with a statistic, statistical age is that the average win must be greater, greater than the average loss. I mean, it's simple maths. If you are not making more money than you are losing, you, sorry, if you are not making more money, right, than the amount that you actually lost, then it's very simple. Then your, your account is definitely red and that's not where you want to be. Okay? So your trading strategy has to have something known as positive expectancy. So what is positive expectancy, okay? Positive expectancy can be defined through this, okay? Where your average win times your percentage win is greater than your average loss times your percentage of loss, okay? So through this um, equation, right, uh, you can see that there's only two ways for you to make, to, to be a profitable trader, okay? Number one is that you have a high win rate, which is uh, this one over here. Right, your percentage uh, win rate is very high, which is really hard. Okay, most top traders only average between a forty to fifty percent uh, uh, win rate. Means how often they, they actually win? They only write about 40 50 percent of the time. Okay, that's the first way for you to make money. The second way is to have trades that have huge risk to reward ratios. Sorry, huge reward to risk ratios, not huge <laughs> risk. Okay, sorry about that. Huge reward to risk, okay, which is basically meaning that your average win is greater than your average loss, okay. This is also known as a big R multiple trades. That means, uh, let's say today you are risking one dollar, okay, you don't want to risk one dollar to make fifty cents, okay, because that means that you need to have a very high uh, percentage uh, win rate, okay. You want to be risking a dollar to make five dollars, okay. So even if you are wrong, like thirty percent of you're wrong 70% of the time, you still make money, okay? Uh, let me just show you an uh, example, okay, to break it down, to solidify your understanding because uh, previously there's no numbers, it's a bit hard to understand and conceptualize everything. So uh, just consider the following. Let's say you, you have a trading system with a win rate of uh, 30%, okay? That's not impressive. In fact, most, uh, most of you guys will probably leave us if, you know, you see that we have a hit rate of 30%, okay, because you'll be saying, hey, how come this signal provider keeps losing, okay? We generally average between 60 to 70%, but in this case, we want to say that uh, even with a win rate of 30%, it is possible to make money, okay? So, if you have a win rate of 30%, that means that uh, you are probably losing 70% of the time, okay? Because uh, it's binary, you either win or you lose. Okay, so if 30% is winning, then 70% must be your losing. Okay, now let, let's take a look at your average win. Let's say that uh, on average, you each, each trade that is a winner, you make $3. Okay, and at, on average, each trade that you lose, you lose a dollar, which is the, 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 uh, position, the amount that you're willing to risk. Okay, uh, previously we say that uh, this should be based on position sizing. Sizing and account size, okay? So let's say you're risking uh, $1 per trade. So your average loss is $1. In fact, your loss should always be about the same, okay? If your losses is uh, one moment $20, the next moment $5, and then the next moment uh, you know, 100 is very volatile, that means that you're probably not adapting uh, the right position sizing, okay? You are not applying the principles of uh, adaptive position sizing for your account size. Okay, so anyway, back to this. Uh, so now we have win rate here, which is um, 30% times your average win. Okay, 30% times 3. Okay, minus your lose rate, which is 70% times uh, $1. Okay, so this gives you uh, about 0 
and this gives you uh, 0 0.7. So 0 0.9 minus 0 0.7 gives you a positive expectancy of 0 0.2. So what does this mean for you? Okay, this means that for every dollar that you bet, okay, you can expect to earn 20 cents. Okay, so does this sound familiar? You bet it does because it sounds just exactly like a casino. Okay, let me just go back to the slide. Um, right, so a casino, we talked earlier on that they have a slight edge of 5.4%, meaning that for every dollar that uh, they that is being wagered on the table, they can expect to make 54 Sense okay in this case, even with you know kind of a mediocre uh, expectancy, it's still better than a casino. Okay, so this is how you trade like a casino. Okay, by having a trading system that that uh, puts the statistics in your favor or rather gives you a positive expectancy. Okay, so now I can I can probably feel that you're probably thinking like, okay, right, I understand all this concept, I understand that we need this, okay, but what gives us a trading edge, okay? How, how do you actually have a trading edge, okay? You do this by actually uh, exploiting repeatable patterns in uh, human psychology, okay? This is otherwise known as a technical analysis, okay? All technical analysis is, is actually um, just looking for patterns and trying to exploit uh, past movement, right? Using past uh, movement to, to forecast future price movement. And this includes, right, trends, support and resistance level, trend lines, candlestick patterns, moving average indicators, okay? There's a thousand and one, you know, forms of technical analysis and uh, you might think you need to know them all, okay? Actually, you don't really need to know them all, okay? In our future videos, we'll talk, probably talk about each of them more, okay? But I think what's very important is that, uh, just a moment, what's very important is that, uh, you, you, get, you understand this concept, right? That technical science on its own are not reliable enough, okay? You need to use them in the right combination to give you a statistical edge, okay? This is why you need a trading system, okay? And that's why uh, in our advanced forex course, we teach you a proven trading system, okay? Our trading system has four steps, okay? And if you're in our Telegram channel, you know that uh, we have been consistently profitable. So we are not just like other gurus who you know create content, try to sell your course without any like concrete evidence that what they do work. Okay, we show you right that our trading system works, and we teach you the exact uh, methodology that we use. Okay, but you don't have to as as we always say, you don't have to use uh, our trading strategies. You can use anyone. You can even learn you know on your own. That's fine. Okay but you need to have a trading system that has a statistical edge, okay? So moving on to our third point, let's say you choose a trading strategy or system that is not ours and you don't have the benefit of, uh, you know, having trades being sent to you that you know will make money, okay? Because in our Telegram channel, you, you, you see that every week we, we send in our signal, uh, the, our trading results, and uh, you, you, know, you just take the time to scroll through, right? We have uh, his historical data, right? Uh, we started this channel in uh, February, and now it's September. So it's a good seven months of data to show that uh, we've been making money uh, on a money basis. In fact, we haven't had a losing month yet. Okay, so question today is how can you be confident that a trading system has a statistical edge? Okay, maybe you are evaluating other signal providers. Maybe you are checking out other trading courses online and you're not sure whether, um, you know, they, they are legit. Okay, so how do you do this? By taking some time to keep a trading journal and monitoring the win-loss rate as well as the average win-loss. Okay. So you use this data, right, to calculate your expectancy, okay? Kind of uh, what we thought over here, okay? Plug these numbers, get these numbers all out. Use these numbers to calculate your expectancy, okay? But only do this over a large sample of trades because uh, five trades is not statistically significant enough, okay? You need to be like a casino, right? You need to churn the trades. You need volume, okay? In, in, in the case of trading, it is it will be you need more trades. You need maybe 50 trades. You need 100 trades. Okay? Only after a large sample of trades, then can you determine if it has an edge. Okay? Once you do that, uh, 
if you are still not confident enough that, oh, this trading system makes money, what you can do is uh, you can start off with a demo account or you can do a back test. Okay, maybe you can scroll through uh, your charts and uh, si simulate like um, past market conditions and what you would have done. Okay, um, you can even use a back testing software like Forex Tester Tool. Okay, um, maybe you create a video on how you can use that. Okay, such tools are pivotal to building your confidence. Okay, you need to put in the work. Okay, you don't just get confident uh, just by uh, watching our videos or just by studying. Okay, confidence is built right through competency, right? And competency is built by seeing some form of results. Okay, it is kind of like a feedback loop. Okay, you only get confidence when you are competent in something. Okay, so that's the three uh topics that or three mini topics that we want to share with you today. So in summary, okay, how do you trade Forex with a statistical edge? Okay, that's by having positive expectancy. Okay. Take down our formula, right? We watch this video if you forget. Okay, always focus on expectancy. Don't just focus on heat rate. Don't just focus on how much money you make. Okay, you need to consider both percent, uh, your heat rate as well as your average win or loss. Okay, what gives us a trading edge through the right combination of technical signals? Okay, we also mentioned that it's not just technical signals. Okay, it's the right combination of them that forms a trading system that use a uh, positive expectancy for you. Okay, and the last thing that we talk about is uh, how can you be confident that a training system has a statistical edge, right? By putting in the work to backtest and record your trades, okay? This is the only way to do it, okay? You need to know your numbers and when you have the numbers, right, you know that, okay, uh, my, my training system on average will yield me 30 cents uh, for every dollar, right? When you have that data, right, and you backtest it, then you have that confidence in your training system, okay? You will not be confident if you just watch our videos or you just, you know, um, oh, my friend says that this signal provider makes money. That, that's not the way to build confidence, okay? So take the time to, uh, put it, to, to study our materials, to backtest, to record your trades. And if you have a question, uh, comment down below. We'll address them, okay? If you are not subscribed to our channel, like Telegram channel or YouTube channel, please do because we produce content like this every single day to help struggling traders like you turn your account from red to blue. Okay, and that's what uh, we want for you because we lost a lot of money and we don't want that to happen to you. So if there's something that we can share to help uh, shorten your learning curve, right, we will do that just for you. But we only know what kind of content to create if you know you speak to us, you write into us, uh, to share with us your struggles, or you just comment down below. Okay, so that's it for today's video. We'll see you in the next video.